Oh. Um. Good evening. Welcome to Carpe Nocte, where we provide the only consensual vampire dining experience in the entire city. What was your name? Let me make sure you're on the list. Ah, you're going to be with me. My name is Lucy, and I'm going to be taking care of you tonight. It says you've got the Ruby membership, which is the full-service VIP package. Let me just check which room we're in. Alright, just follow me and we'll get this party started. Jeez. So many bodies in the way. Ugh. Take my hand so I don't lose you in the crowd, okay? Sorry if my fingers are a bit chilly. <laughs> Here we are. Room 13. What was that? Sorry, my hearing is so sensitive, it'll take me a minute to adjust to the lack of noise in here. Oh, absolutely. Take a seat in the booth here and look through the menu. With your membership level, you can get anything off the menu that you want. It's all included. You can punch your order right into the screen on the tablet. Technology's great, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. And when you're seeing me, there's no worries about alcohol. I have zero tolerance for it. It... Uh, definitely doesn't do good things for me. So whatever your reasons are for wanting to avoid it, which quite frankly are none of my business, it won't come anywhere near us while we're here. And that means you can just relax and enjoy the Carpe Nocte experience. <clears throat> What do you mean? I'm... I'm not... You know what? To hell with it. I am nervous. Stupidly nervous. I'm a neophyte vampire. I'm not just new to working at the club, I'm new to all of this. Being a vampire is different. I guess that's the best way I can put a positive spin on it. But you don't want to hear my unlife story, do you? You came here to have a delicious meal, some conversation, be surrounded by crazy, loud music that shakes the floorboards and rattles your bones, and to get munched on. Sorry, that sounded really judgmental. And I didn't mean it like that. And... <sighs> Jesus fucking Christ, I'm gonna get fired. Are you... Are you laughing? I didn't think I did anything funny. Oh, um... You think me being so candid is refreshing? <sighs> Thanks. I guess. Did you send your order for food through? Good. It shouldn't take too long. Our cooks work at superhuman speeds, which I'm sure you 
already know since your membership means that you've been here before, but I am so damned out of sorts that I'm just going to keep spouting the scripts I've drilled into my brain because I don't know what to do since we're already so far off the script and the plan. <laughs> You're giving me a look like you're trying to project something to me, but even with your consent and signatures all over the stack of waivers for you to be here, I don't have enough control yet to go poking around in your brain and get the message you are trying to send me. Oh, trust me, I've only been undead for a few weeks. I could end up lost in your memories and drag you along for the ride. We could be stuck in there for a long time until someone comes to pull us both out of it. And it might not even be a good memory. So, yeah. But I'm sure you knew that, too. As a matter of fact, you purposely chose me, didn't you? I know that they offer us on a menu of sorts for members to pick from. That almost makes me more edgy. Why would you choose me when you could be with one of the others who actually know what they're doing. That's sweet and all, but I've never... I've never fed directly from a live donor before, okay? It doesn't matter that I've studied anatomy and know where all the veins and arteries and nerves are. What if I still hurt you somehow? What if I lose control and can't stop? I don't... Oh, that must be the food. Let me just grab that right quick. Thanks, Johnny. Appreciate it. There we are. Go ahead. Dig in. You'd like me to join you. We're really not supposed to. I mean, yes, vampires can eat food, but we can also live on blood alone. You think it'll help me mellow out a bit, huh? Maybe you're right. Thanks. Mmm. I know, right? The kitchen crew do an excellent job. I'm going to have to figure out a skill set to focus on now that I'm going to have this almost limitless time to advance in it. Here, let me get all the dishes back on this tray and out of the way. What are some things I might like to get better at? Hmm. There are tons of things I'd love to learn. But I think I might focus on art first. I always did want to get into drawing. And now with digital art being so prevalent and, quite frankly, cheap, I think I could really take off with that. Jeez. Sorry. You've got me acting all human again when I'm supposed to be otherworldly and vaguely menacing. 
I know it's only been a few weeks. I'm sure I'll get better at slipping into the mistress of the night persona over time. Oh, you like me all lost and innocent like this, huh? Thanks, but I don't think that's going to be the typical response from most of the patrons here. Um... <laughs> Your hands are so warm on top of mine. It's giving me goosebumps. You do know that we, you and I, don't have to. Damn it, you smell fucking amazing from this close. Do I want to? I do. There's a condition, huh? And what's that? Oh, you're gonna make me work for it. Since you did get me a proper dinner, I suppose that's only fair. <laughs> hmm. Didn't expect me to climb right on your lap, did you? That's on you for helping me feel comfortable enough to do so. But don't worry, hun. Once I get these buttons on this fancy shirt of yours undone, all you have to do is lean back and enjoy. Hmm. Such a strong neck. steady pulse beneath it, although it did just speed up a bit. Can't imagine why. My, my. Look at all those scars. You've really got a thing for vampires, don't you? Such tense muscles here, too. I might have to give you a shoulder massage after I have my dessert. No need to clench that jaw. Just relax. My lips are soft and wet against the outer shell of your ear. Slowly working my way down. Passing where your pulse is strongest to the hollow of your shoulder where the muscles are the thickest. <clears throat> Was that all right? 
I know we're not supposed to hit any major blood vessels. And I didn't want to leave any marks up above your collar. Good. Good. I should, um, probably get up then. Hmm. <laughs> you like the way my cheeks are flush? That's only from your blood, you know. I can feel the warmth spreading through my entire body. I haven't felt this alive in weeks. I don't have to go anywhere if right here is where you want me. I'm all yours for the evening. Until near sunrise, if you'd like. Mm-hmm. When a Ruby member makes an appointment with one of us, our schedule is otherwise cleared for the rest of the night. We've got nothing but time. Do with me. What you will. <laughs> Good evening, boys and ghouls. Welcome to day one of the 13 days of Halloween. I'm Randy from Dark Child Audio, your undead hostess with the mostess. I hope that you enjoyed this nervous vampire feeding for the first time audio. It, uh, got a little more involved than I was expecting, so hopefully we don't get the hammer thrown down on us, but we shall see how that goes. So keep your eyes peeled, there will be a daily upload in a spooky vein until the end of October. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, drop this video a like, and leave me a comment and let me know what you thought, and if anyone has any predictions for what the videos for the rest of the month are going to be. So thank you all again, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye, guys.